This time we attached flat pads to the KUKA, folded zero band gold. Very powerful. And uh, that's something special about this band set. And this is this pouch. As you see, it looks funny. It's not a leather pouch. It's Kydex. And as you can see, I have formed with a 19 mm ball and heat treating, I have formed a, a, a little hollow uh, container in here. And also there is a little funnel. And I use it for loading the slingshot with lead shot. This is four and a half millimeter lead shot. You can also use steel. And what you do is, you simply take the lead and put it in here. And I can actually get 50 of these things in, into it in one shot. That is about 50 shots that you do with a BB gun. I can do in just one throw. Loading is a bit complicated. But with a bit of training, it goes okay. Okay, so now it's fully loaded with 50 pellets. The idea is, of course, that it's easier to hit something that you can cause more damage. Um, first, we're going to shoot at some beer cans. It's going to be fun. Let's see. So, that wasn't a full hit. Most of the shots passed on the left side. But see, still, the few pellets that perforated looks good. Second shot, full hit. That's great. See how it sprays. More damage than a solid lead ball could have caused. Okay, that was fun. Now, one word about the glove. Uh, it's just a security thing because you can never know if you're not accidentally hit something or so. And also, the Kydex pouch is harder than a leather pouch. And when it swings back, I don't want to be hurt by this. So, now we're going to test. Those are two cardboard pieces. If we can kill them both with one shot, that would be impossible if we would do it with uh, a steel Kill them both. <laughs> That's the advantage of shot. You know, one of these lead pellets will always hit something. It's quite fun. One advantage of this pouch is that it never really opens. This means the groups of the shot will be smaller than if you would use a leather pouch. Let's test this. That's about five meters and see how it scatters. So as you see, there's about 15 or 20 hits, probably or closer to 20, on this and there's some scattering around it. So an area like this, anything that moves gets a pellet. That's about the amount of scattering that I wanted. <laughs>